Hello viewers, welcome back to Create. Today I'm going to show you how to edit your PDF file offline using Android phone. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. First, you're going to need Play Store. So I'm going to search for Play Store right on my phone. And this is my Play Store right here. So I'm going to click on that. And then you wait for it to load. At the search area of your Play Store, where they've written the Google Play, you click at that area and then you type in X O D O pdf like this and then you click on your search key you wait for it to load what you're actually looking for comes along with this logo so make sure that whatever you are installing or whatever you are downloading on your phone comes along with that logo so i'm going to click on install right here install right here i'm going to click on that and then install this on the phone so I've clicked on that. Whilst I'm waiting for it to download, I want you to remember that I've added the link at the description. So if you want to download this, you can also find the link at the description. You click on that and then it brings you straight to your Play Store. And then you click on install and you download it on your phone. This is actually 27.26 megabytes. And my network is very slow, so I'm going to forward this. So now that we are done downloading it, I'm going to click on the home key and then we find what we have downloaded on the phone, but we have to wait for it to install. So it's installing. And of course, for you to download the XODO PDF, you're going to need internet access to download it. But when you are done downloading it, you're not going to need internet access again. So now we are done downloading. I'm going to click on my home key. And then this is what we just downloaded. So I'm actually going to put off my data so that you know that I didn't actually use internet for editing of the PDF. So I'm putting off my data. Okay. So now this is what we downloaded. This is what we just downloaded. I'm going to click on that. And then you wait for it to open. So I'm just going to skip. Yeah. I'm going to grant and then I'm going to click on allow and it is loading all my documents that I have on my phone. So this document is going to include my docs, my PDF files, like all document that I have on my phone, Excel, everything that I have on my phone is going to show here. So it's loading files. And I have to wait for it to load. So these are all my documents that I have on my phone. But I'm actually going to demonstrate this with a particular file that I've saved as you create. So I'm going to click on the search right here. And then type in the name of the file that I want to demonstrate this with. Okay. So this is the file that I want to demonstrate this with. And as you can see, it is a PDF file. I'm going to click on that and open Whenever you open a file or a document that you want to edit, first what you have to do is you have to click on this very icon right here. So I'm going to click on that. And then it's going to show less of your tools right here. I mean your edit tools. So what you have to do is you have to click on the three dots up here. So I'm going to click on that. And then you select show all tools. So I'm going to click on that. And as you can see, all my tools are up here on this document what we have on it is you create intro today I'm going to show you how to edit your PDF files offline using Android app signature and a name but what they've written as intro here this is what we don't want we want it as introduction so I'm going to erase this and then we type in introduction first we can find our erasing to up there so this is the sorry about that. So this uh sorry about that. So this uh eraser right here. So that's what we're gonna use to erase. So first I'm gonna click on that and then I'm gonna select the first one here. As you can see, it's in a different color, but we want it in white. So what we have to do is we have to server we have to select the color here 
and then we select white so i'm going to click on white here so anything you click on it it then changes the color so you can watch the colors here so i'm going to click on a different color and as you can see the colors are changing but we're going to select white and then i'm going to click on back and i'm going to click on back again the reason why we are selecting white is the background of this document is white so we, we're just going to erase the intro so you select the color of the background of the document and that is white that's why we selected white so i'm going to rub my hands on the intro here the intro this intro i'm going to rub my hands on it and when i rub my hands on it it's going to clean or it's going to erase everything so as you can see i'm rubbing my hands on it and yes of course it's erasing it so we have no intro on this document again when you are done erasing what you want to erase you click on this icon and then we want to type in introduction as i said earlier we don't need intro we need the introduction so i'm going to type in introduction so i'm going to click on this sorry i'm going to click on this icon here and then i'm going to double click on anywhere of the page you can double click at anywhere of the page so i'm just going to double click on it and it gives you an option to type so i'm going to type in the introduction intro sorry what am i typing introduction yeah so that's an introduction and then you click on save as you can see the color of the introduction is not black but we want the color to be black so first what you have to do is you have to click on the introduction so i'm just going to click on the introduction and then you select this and then you click here test color and then you select black you just go back you can also increase the size of your test so i'm going to increase the size of my test a little bit and then i'm going to go back so as you can see this is my intro now it is black so you you can drag it you can expand it and then as you can see i'm dragging it so you click and hold and then you drag it so you position it where you want it to be and as I said, you can drag it here. Yeah. So it's okay like this. When you're done, you just click anywhere on your page, apart from where the introduction is. So I'm gonna click anywhere on my page. And something like this pops up. It's asking you that you wanna retype anything or do you want to input another word? But I don't want to input any other word. So I'm just gonna click on cancel. So if something like that shows up you just click on cancel and again now i'm going to add my signature so what i have to do is i have to click on this icon this icon allows you to sign so i've clicked on that and then you double click on the page where you want it to be so i'm just going to double click on the page and then i'm going to sign something there this is actually you not know, my signature and then you click on add and again you can click on it once and you can drag it but as you can see it's very huge so i have to minimize it so you click at the edges of the balls and then you minimize it so now that i'm done minimizing it let me drag it there let me bring it a little bit down it's okay now so when you are done with it you just click anywhere on the page and it comes up again that you want to sign again and then you just click on cancel now i'm going to type the name so as i said earlier you select the test so i'm going to select the test and follow the same procedure we did with the introduction to type in the name click on the three dots and select save a copy and follow the procedure to save or click on the share tool to share Thank you for watching and I know you can do it yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, click on the bell and like. Stay tuned until then.